here is a very uh, revolutionary concept. Did you know that when you talk about heart disease and stroke and memory function loss, when you talk about visual losses and hearing losses, when you talk about uh, kidney disease, when you talk about uh, impotence, when you talk about gangrene, there is one basic process involved here. It's called atherosclerosis and narrowing, a hardening of the arteries, and inside you find the cholesterol, you find the calcium, and you find the fats. This kind of a, this kind of a narrowing disease is what then deprives the target organs of proper blood flow to bring the oxygen and the nutrients to the cells. And when that happens, you develop degenerative diseases. Unfortunately, Many people think that degenerative diseases happen because we're getting older. Well, that doesn't help. But the real issue is that the accumulation of our Western lifestyle that's high in cholesterol and saturated fats, this is the kind of thing that contributes to this disease process in a very preeminent position. Once we take these foods out, the arteries begin to open up again. There's a melting down of the atherosclerotic plaque. You can improve uh, your heart, you can eat yourself out of heart disease, you can eat yourself out of angina, you can eat yourself out of impotence, yes, and that's worth it, isn't it? It's really a stretch when you think about it. If you don't get your three glasses of milk, your bones will break. Come on! I mean the countries in the world that have the most dairy consumption usually also have the highest rate of fractures from osteoporosis. Someone is telling us something that you cannot substantiate very well with scientific facts. Could this be just a marketing gimmick? How could that be? Well, it's really not that difficult once you understand that all animal protein, and that's found in dairy products of course, causes an acidification of the blood. It's a metabolic acidification that takes place. And as that happens, the kidneys have to work much, much harder to balance the pH, the amount of acid in the body. But after a while, after 10, 20 years of being abused like this, by having the excessive amounts of animal protein coming through the system, the kidneys oftentimes begin to, they don't work quite as well anymore. And what happens next is that the body now begins to leach calcium from the bones to neutralize the acidific, the, the, the level of acidity in the body so it can function properly. So be careful about animal products because they're directly related to osteoporosis and the fractures that are the, the, that are the result of that kind of a bone thinning process. I mean we have totally underestimated the benefits of a plant-based whole food diet. I mean it's not just that uh, you can eat more food and you will actually lose weight because they are not as calorically dense but you also do something for your health overall. I mean your arteries begin to open up, you can eat yourself out of heart disease, you can do something about impotence, you can do something about your kidneys, you can do something about diabetes, you're doing something for ecology, you're doing something for biodiversity, it's all there and you can reduce your food budget by 35 to 45 percent and it all happens in short periods of time. It's not something you have to wait for years for. Within five days you will be able to see your physician has to reduce the insulin in a diabetic because they have moved towards a diet that is high in plant foods and whole foods. It's a no-brainer. You wonder how do you assess whether I'm overweight? Oh, there's an easy test. I mean all you have to do is take this layer below your left lower rib and just pinch it, just like this. And if this is more than one inch, you better pinch harder. You know, actuarial insurance companies want to know what is the best weight for people that we should insure. And here's what they found. After looking at hundreds of thousands of people and their life expectancy, they found that there's a relation between the height, how tall they are, and their weight. And you know what happens? They came up with these graphs. You can pick your height and it gives you the ideal weight for that particular height. You know what people do, especially in the Western society? They look for their weight and then they find, my goodness, my problem is I'm too short. <laughs> you know, I understand we're both 
grandparents. And my goal is to make sure that I leave a legacy behind for my kids. That's a planet that is still going to be around when my kids are growing up. And we can make a major contribution in terms of leaving a softer footprint on the planet by moving towards a simpler diet of eating more foods as grown. It will make all the difference. It will make the difference for people all over the world. It will mean less hunger. It means less malnutrition. It means healthier people and the survivability of a planet that means everything to us, and especially for our grandkids.